words of life. Let me pour up their beauty, see wonderful words of life, words of life and Unrehearsed, grab a bowl of popcorn, kick off your shoes, and join us for some time of chit chat and singing and glorifying the Lord and laughing together and maybe even crying together. Who knows where the Lord's going to take us? So good to see you, friends, flipping across the screen there. And yes, Trevor got more attention sneaking in than he would have just walking through, but we'll leave, we'll leave that as it is. Hi, Timothy Lapp from Florida. We miss you guys here yes, in we good, do. Old, or, good old Oregon. There's yeah. Walnut Creek, Ohio. Hi there. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't get started. Uh, yeah, because there's so many of you folks checking in and uh, just good to see you. Uh, your names anyway and, and pictures of you, I guess, is the way you put that. Yeah. Yes, I'll take it. Just toss it over here, big boy. Thank you. I might use it. I might not. Well, yes. Where were we at? So where do we go from here? First of all, for all of you new viewers or people who have just gotten acquainted with us, uh, sing along. Um, we just wanted to kind of, I don't know, go over just a couple things. First of all, one is that when we hit your, uh, your comments with like, and you're giving us a compliment, it's not that we're like saying, oh, we love compliments as much as trying to say respectfully, thank you. Hope you recognize that. It's not a pride thing, not a showbiz thing or anything like that, but it's been so much fun just reading your comments and, uh, blessing actually. And then also a blessing to be able to read your prayer requests and to share with you. Just had an unspoken request today that, that we were able to stop and take to the Lord. Don't always, aren't always able to do that right at the moment, but I'm still working on the poss possibility of getting, trying to get a prayer uh, page started. I'm not sure how we do that, but uh, we'll leave that as it may for right now. So yeah, thank you all your prayer warriors and, and all your supporters and uh, your prayers are supported for even us. And I know that it's made a difference in the prison ministry. Today, um, I was able to be in the county jail and spend some time with, with uh, Brother Caleb in there, a fellow chaplain, and listening to some stories and uh, doing some praying and actually sang a song or two for one guy. So yeah, good to have you here. Oh, and I also wanted to say, if you want, if you want to get notifications that, of when we're singing, if we throw some surprises in there, we haven't recently, but if you would, um, you can just hit follow and then um, you'll get a notification whenever we come on. I think some of you are already doing I that. I noticed a lot of you aren't following the page, so yeah. Which is if fine. If you want to get notifications, that's yep. a good way to do it. You don't have to follow a page, but if yeah, if you want to get notifications, you're, you said it right, babes. Oh, you got the Skeeters, Pam. Well, keep them out there. I would love to do an outside uh, an outside sing-along again here before too long. One of the problems is that our, our yard sprinklers are on uh, usually on all day Monday, and they're usually on the, into the evening a little bit, so we can't get out there and set up and do that, but uh, maybe sooner or later we'll get out there and do an outdoor concert or sing along again. Our living room is bigger out there, right? Hey, Virginia Beach, Ohio, Plain City. Yes, a couple Plain City people here. Good to see y'all. Where are we going to go, hon? We have some requests tonight. Are we going to start out with some? Okay. Marie Casapitis. 
requested created me a clean heart. Oh, I love that God. song. Do I know that? Is that by memory? I think so. What a beautiful prayer it comes out of the Psalms, and I just love it. I was thinking about this week, and I hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, yes. Um, oh, wow, Teresa, that's an answer to prayer. Um, yeah, so our weekend was very different. We were invited to thank, uh, or yeah, we were invited to go uh, to a church camp out with, oh, oh, Living Hope Church, yeah, and uh, we had a ball there. I, I really went down memory lane and remembered all the, we were invited to go and be speaker there Sunday morning, so we sang a few songs and, and shared some testimony. Just had a wonderful good time there, uh, especially I thought Sunday morning was so meaningful because of what people shared and, and the Spirit of the Lord was present there, and I, I praise Him for that. Yeah, had a good time, came home Sunday afternoon, and I went straight to bed, slept for about an hour. <laughs> This old man can't handle too many, too many nights uh, of staying up real late tonight. But the fun thing about church camp for me used to be sitting around the campfire and singing and, and then staying up late and playing games and things. For me, most of the time, it was a game that you don't even hear much of anymore. Rook. <laughs> had fun playing that and so on and so forth. Creating me a clean heart. That's a beautiful prayer. Sing this with us. Cre Let me see this. To, to the right key first. Remember, we're unedited, unrehearsed, so we look around a little bit and mess up a good bit. Creating me a clean heart, oh God, and renew the right spirit within me. Creating me a clean heart, oh God, and renew the right spirit within me. prayer that and the lord does that for us he takes away that negativity out of our lives and fills it with his holy spirit i love it well here's a song we've sung quite a few times on this one what is it huh okay gene Lindsay requested you are creator well thanks eugene for requesting this one and i would like to have the do you have a copy of it oh yes i do i would like to do the um the uh, bridge that, whoa, <laughs> down it went. The bridge that I wrote, if you don't mind, um, putting that in there. Okay, come on up here. There we go. That book was a little heavier than what it, there we go. Now let's try it. Gene Lindsay. Gene Lindsay, I think you're from, I better not say. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, um. When I was a younger man, I was out enjoying working on the tractor, and, and not just then, but other times when I'd go hunting and sit in tree stands and listen to the to the leaf blow the wind, and yeah, you know, the leaf blow the wind. The wind <laughs> did the leaf blow the wind, or the leaf, wind blew the leaf, wind blow the leaves, and yeah. Uh, yeah, just enjoying the beauty of creation, and of course enjoying it even more when we moved to Oregon and, and in Colorado and just seeing how the Lord created all this beautiful stuff for us to enjoy. And it was the Lord, you are creator. When I see the blue in the summer sky, when I feel the dew in the morning grass, when I smell the fragrance of the flowers in the I just thank you, Lord, for creating all these things. You are creator of all things bright and beautiful. Jehovah Jireh, Lord of all and King. Can't 
God is mad that you are mindful of him. You can calm the storms and still the mighty winds. The trees clap their heads, the hills resound with praise. We will join in singing and to you our voices raise. We praise you, Lord. You came, you died, you rose again, now by your Father's side. We thank you, Holy Spirit, your presence is our guide. You drove away the darkness, so we're living in the light. You are creator of all things bright and beautiful, Jehovah Jireh. Lord of all and King of kings, and I will praise your name for just as long as I have breath. You deserve all the praise creation can bring, and I will praise your name for just as long as creator and that is our lord for us he is creator hey you know what while we're in here i got another song that flipped up here and i like to do doesn't even have anything to do with the same um the same um, topic but it's called snow uh carter song keep on the sunny side remember that <laughs> let's do that in the key of d i think there's a dark and a troubled side of the line there's a bright and a sunny side too Though we meet with darkness and strife, the sunny side we also may do. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life, side of life. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way if we keep on the sunny side of life. Crushing hopes that we cherish so dear. Clouds and storms will in time pass away. The sun again will shine bright and clear. So keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life, side of life. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side of life, if we keep on the sunny side of life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's true. Some people say they're an optimist, others a pessimist, but the glass and the glass is half full or half empty. Uh, but there's something really important for all of us as believers, especially to learn to have an attitude of gratitude, if you call it that, or a thankful spirit. And it makes such a difference in your day. So God bless you all as you attempt to do that. It doesn't mean that it ignores the pain or the darkness or the storms, but just that you remember that there's a sunny side. There's a different side. Where are we going next, hon? Okay, kids section. Oh, the children. Woo, we got a couple Bob and quick. Andrea Latkeman. Out of work. I know if I'm saying it right. Uh, requested building up the temple for their nieces and nephews. I should have do that first, huh? 
Building up the temple, I like that one. So in building up the temple, when we did the motions, kids, we used to go like this, like building, but now with nail guns, I guess we have to go like this. <laughs> nah, just kidding. We'll keep the old motions. This is for all the nephews and nieces of Bob and, and uh, Andrea. All right. Building up the temple, building up the temple, building up the temple of the Lord. Of the Lord. Say, brother, won't you help? Sister, won't you help me? Building up the temple of the Lord. Building up the temple. Building up the temple. Building up the temple of the Lord. Say, brother, won't you help me? Sister, won't you help me? Building up the temple of the Lord. For you fast workers, go up the temple of the Lord. Say, brother, won't you help me? Sister, won't you help me? Building up the temple of the Lord. Had to speed it up for some of you workers who work so fast, right? <laughs> ah, the Lord's made, the Lord is gracious to us as we help each other build up the temple of the Lord. Where are we going next, son? Okay, just. Oh, we're going to sing a song. Boy, this will build your temple. You're talking about having patience. Did you ever pray for patience? <laughs> that could be a risky pair. prayer. But anyway, this is about Herbert the Snail. Let me see if I remember this one. There was a snail called Herbert who was so very slow. He caused a lot of traffic jams wherever he would go. Am I right? The ants were always getting mad, and the beetles, they would fume. But her would always poke along and sing this little tune. Have patience, have patience, don't be in such a hurry. When you get impatient, you only start to worry. Remember, remember that God is patient too. And think of all the times when others had to wait on you. Well, when Herbert was much younger, he often got in trouble. Forgetting he was a snail, he did things on the double. He crashed through every spider web and crickets he collide. Till one day Herbert's father took his speeding son aside. And he told him, son, have patience, have patience, don't be in such a hurry. Woo! When you get impatient, you only start to worry. Remember, remember that God is patient too. And think of all the times when others had to wait on you. Well, as you can well imagine, there's a moral to this tale. Some of you may find yourselves behind a creeping snail. So if you get impatient and you're easily disturbed, just think about this little song and take a tip from Herb. Have patience, have patience, don't see in such a hurry. Whoa, when you get impatient, you only start to hurry. So remember, Remember that God is patient too And think of all the times when others have to wait on you <laughs> Ah, I even messed up the words there, have patience with me <laughs> Hey Shirley, you said you sang it for the kids Did you sing it to annoy them when they were impatient? Or <laughs> I remember sometimes when people get impatient and you start singing that song Doesn't really help you <laughs> Oh, boy. Anyway, we'll leave that well enough alone, right? <laughs> or, yeah, we'll leave it alone. Okay, Where are we going next, babe? Let me to Ben to request it for those tears I died. Oh, wow. Who is that? Bender? Lenita Bender. Lenita Bender. Is she the one in... I think so. She's the Rudy's one in... Rudy's. Rudy's. Yeah, Rudy and Lenita. Bender. They're the ones who had a daughter who passed away, right? No. No, 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 no. I got the wrong Bender there. Yeah. Okay, I, I know which one it is now. Beautiful song. Jesus said in Matthew eleven twenty eight to 30, Come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, 
And I just like that thought. Hey, Nelson, what do you want me to do about that football game? <laughs> I keep saying there's a football game. I ain't gonna go play football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Susan. That road rage thing, I'll tell you. Uh, it can, man, people just don't have much pace anymore. What they won't do to get in front of you just by a car length or two, right? <laughs> anyway, back to For Those Tears I Died. Beautiful song. You said you'd come and share all my sorrow. Wonderful message. Yes, for the tears of pain, of death, and of sin, the Lord died for them. Hello, Galen Kaufman from Lancaster. You guys getting any rain up there? Are you drying out? Well, hello, Michael Swanson. He's looking for some other Rhode Islanders watching, huh? <laughs> Good luck with that, Michael. You may be the only one from Rhode Island. <laughs> anyway, we're glad to have you on deck, brother. Where's my keys? Your keys? Where do you want to go? I need to get in my beacon. Um, I don't know where I put them. I put them in on the bed, I think, by my bedside, buddy. I used Trevor's car today. We have a very interesting scenario here in, in Canyon City, Colorado right now. Somebody, they say, or rumor has anyway, hacked into the county's computer system and really messed things up. <coughs> the prison, the county jails... Um, the county clerk. So we bought, uh, Trevor got rid of his Jeep and bought another Jeep, a nicer one, uh, about what, last week sometime, was Three it, huh? Ago. And here in Colorado, you have to take the plates off and keep them if you're a seller. And the buyer goes into the uh, DMV or the title place and gets the title uh, reissued and gets new plates. Well, since the computer's down in Kent County, or Kent County, in Canyon City County, Fremont County, um, we can't do it. So we're driving around without tags. Well, the inevitable happened, <laughs> and I, I was glad. I had to chuckle, let's put it that way. Sure enough, Trevor got pulled over by for driving without any tag license plates on his car, and um, so he told the police why, and then the police obviously knew all about it and understood, and just sent him on his way with a little card with his name on it to show that he'd been stopped. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of crazy. So I was use I used Trevor's key today. It would happen sooner or later. So you were hoping, yeah, right. You were hoping you were, you knew it would happen sooner or later. 
All right, where are we going next time? Hey, you and McLeod requested washed in the blood. You and McLeod, all right. What's that? Are you washed in the blood? Love this song. Let's ask this question again. In the key of G. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood in the soul? question and what a wonderful answer yes we are washed right i was just thinking about that you can't make your own garment spotless right or as white as snow i think about that when i hear people um in different scenarios especially in, in maybe in a jail saying i gotta change my life i gotta i gotta do things better and they're right they, they're exactly right but we all need to remember that that's not how we wash our garments that's just how we improve our our life and, and our obedience to scripture the washing comes when we come into his presence and we ask him to, uh, yeah, we repent of our sins and we ask him into our heart. Go moving right along, honey. Okay, Evan Yoder and Christine Kimberlin requested Amazing oh, Grace. Oh, yeah. Which one? Which one you want to sing? Let's, we're going to sing the, all right, we'll sing the old hymn. I might add on a verse of, uh, fill up my cup with that, that, that version too. I like that one. In the key of... E, let's try E, I guess. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was Thank you, Ethan, for sharing that. Yes, um, losing a grandfather is not easy, and the grace of God is that sustaining grace, that favor that he gives to us that we don't deserve and helps us make it through. Yes, amen. <clears throat> okay. Sherry Jackson requested, Jesus, hold my hand. Jesus, hold my hand. Oh, boy, who did I like? Oh, the Chuck Wagon gang. They would just do this. Wait, where, what key are we going in? Let's go in the key of... You don't like this to be too high, do you? Let's go in the key of C for this one. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me. Lord, he sheds to 
second alto <laughs> just kidding uh yeah it'd be fun to have you here with all of you sing along can you imagine what that's going to be like when we sing together in, in glory Woo! we should maybe get together before some other time we should have this giant we should like rent anyway never mind i'm I, i'm talking i'm talking foolish i know okay. okay janet twig requested sheltered in the arms of god sheltered in the arms of god what a beautiful song oh my word you feel sheltered in the arms of God? You know what I wanted to do? Where did I put that white book? Uh, I wanted to, uh, we were singing Jesus Hold My Hand for some reason. I thought about that Jesus Strong and Kind too. We can do that later if we have time. Somebody request it. <laughs> All right. We're going to do this in the key of G as well. I feel the touch of hands so kind and gentle. They're leading me to paths that I have trod, must trod. I'll have no fear when Jesus walks beside me. For I'm sheltered in the arms of God. God, 
promise Lord right for sheltering us and there's a, just a, quite a few verses um, about that in scripture but the one that comes to my mind is when Jesus wept over Jerusalem and he said oh Jerusalem Jerusalem how I would have sheltered thee that might not be the exact words but the idea as a mother hen would shelter her chicks under her wings and uh, yeah but they would not at there but we have that promise that he shelters us. Where are we going next, baby cakes? Okay. Marty Yoder requested Angel Band. Angel Band. Hey, Marty Yoder, this is for you. Let me see. What's the key? right key? My, that's really my, in the key of G. My lady son is sinking fast. My race is nearly run. My strong Some books say snowy wings, some say snow white wings. Well, this one said snow white, so we sang snow white, but I forgot it said snowy. And then the next time Ruth said, okay, she'll sing what I sing and change it to snowy, but I went back to snow white. <laughs> and having said all that, we don't, we rarely sing our songs totally correctly or the same way, but that's not on purpose. We just do it to glorify God. We love singing, right? <laughs> Where are we going next, babes? Okay, Fanny Humphreys requested this song in memory of Anna. I can only imagine. Oh, Fanny. <laughs> I'll try to sing this without getting too emotional, but I tell you, there's something about that thought of what's it going to be like when we stand before the Lord, when we meet him, and he says, well done, thou good and faithful servant. That's another song I like to sing sometime, well done. Somebody, that, that newer song, that's beautiful. They sing it at funerals a lot, but... Yeah, so this is I can only imagine. And boy, the the don't forget, I, I almost always say something about this, but um, the video about this song is just, wow, over the top, uh, challenging and amazing. I remember coming home from watching that one on the big screen one night, and, and I couldn't hardly stop crying. <laughs> it hit pretty close home. But anyway, Annie, Annie, Fanny's twin sister, Annie, who passed away last year, um, this is sung in honor of her and also oh, many others who went up to glory. I can only imagine. I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk, walk by. 
by your side I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me I can only imagine Ooh, I can only imagine Surrounded by your glory What will my heart feel Will I dance for you Jesus Or in all of you be still Will I stand in your presence Or to my knees will I fall Will I Will I be able to sing it all? I can only imagine, yeah, I can only imagine, I can only imagine when that day comes and I find myself standing in the sun, I can only imagine when all I would do is forever, forever worship you. I can only imagine. Ooh, I can only imagine. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Or will I be able to speak it all? I can only imagine. Yeah, I can only imagine. Oh, will I surround I, I told somebody once that I was talking about all the crazy stuff that happens to us here on this earth. Is it all right to use the word crazy there? <laughs> anyway, interesting stuff that happens to us on this earth. And um, I said, when I get to heaven, <clears throat> I think I'm going to have some questions to ask the Lord. And this dear lady is told, this dear sister said, Mark, I, I think when you get to heaven, you're going to be so overwhelmed with the glory of God and his holy presence that you'll forget all about those questions in worship. Just the fact that we'll be there is amazing, right? And I totally agree with her, so I quit saying that. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> okay, Bob Stokes requested because he lives. Yeah, Donna, we will pray for you. Um, when we have our prayer time, sorry that you're sick. And uh, there's also, I noticed that Susanna Bontrager put on about the death of a of a young man, um, Willie Beachy, I think was his name. And as you put your requests on, we're not ignoring them, but uh, we will try to make sure to remember them when we're done singing. Now, who was that, honey? Again, I totally missed that name. I'm sorry. Bob Stokes. Bob Stokes. Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> Bob Stokes. Because he lives. All right. I saw that and requested tonight, too, by the way. So we'll have to remember not to sing it twice. <laughs> or maybe we'll sing it twice. <laughs> Let me see. What's a good key for this? I think we'll try the key of G. Bill, Goth Bill Gaither wrote a good one here. I'll tell you that. God said to son. They called him G. He lived 
about the baby. How sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the time and joy he gives. But greater still the calm assurance this child will Because I know He holds the future And life is worth the living Just because He lives Amen. Woo! <coughs> I'm getting a little bit of a revival spirit here right in my heart. That's good. <laughs> Oh my. Okay, Shirley asked for prayer there. Yeah, this is a fun old song. Did somebody ask for it or you just pulled it out? Oh, yes, cool. Uh, it just says fun songs. Well, somebody asked for this song. Yeah. It's an oldie goldie from way back. I think what happened, they requested another song. Okay. And so I didn't put it down the side. Gotcha. All right. Somebody asked for Red River Valley. I, I best remember hearing this one by Marty Robbins, I think. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other old artists recorded it. But yeah, it's a sad song. It's a sad love song. So we're going to go to switch the gears a little bit here and have some for fun songs here. From, from this valley they say you are leaving We shall miss your bright eyes and sweet smile For you take with you all of the sunshine That has brightened our pathway a while So come and sit by my side if you love me Do not hasten Somebody and you broke up, and uh, it was harsh, wasn't it? 
for some of you. I have a funny story I like to tell about Marvin, says he, but I won't say, say it. <laughs> Marvin, if you're listening, you owe me 20 bucks. <laughs> anyway, let's do that. Another, some old, I, I went back to oldie goldies with that, honey. How about Home on the Range? What's one of your favorite oldie goldies? I mean, I'm talking about real old ones like, yeah, that one with the antelope. Where someone has heard of this one. Yeah, and what can an antelope say? <laughs> Michael, you've messed around with that one a while, haven't you? Hey, here's one of my favorite oldie goldies. What's the matter, hon? Uh, Susanna Griffith requested a happy birthday to her son and husband who have a Both? birthday on Thursday. The what? son was healed from leukemia. Wow, yes, we will celebrate. Uh, Junior? Well, what are we going to sing? What are we going to use for a name? I guess junior. Um, junior? I guess. I don't know. Let me see. Susanna Griffin's friends? No. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Junior. Happy birthday to you, Dad. Happy birthday, dear Junior. Happy birthday to you. Leave it in deck because we don't remember the names there. We don't have the names. Hey, here's an oldie goldie too. Love song. Time for some love songs anyway, isn't it? Oh, you got it up there. Here you go, girl. You are my son. Not for letter. Andrew Miller. Oh, Andrew Miller asked for this. Yes. I didn't know that. I just pulled it out of my hat. Hey, Andrew, great minds think alike. Don't 
I guess we could try this one. I don't know that I ever did learn this one right, but I like the thought process. Get you, get yourselves your fiddles and your banjos and your guitars, and we're going down to the mountains now. We're going down there to the mountains of West Virginia and see if we can look up Tom Reese. Wait, he's in Virginia, not West Virginia. Tom, get down there to West Virginia, and we're going to sit on the back porch and do some mountain music. Oh, play me some mountain music. Like Grandma and Grandpa used to play Then I float on down the river To a Cajun hideaway Drift away like Tom Sawyer Hold a raft like old Huffman Take a nap like Rick Red Wrinkle says Virginia mountains would be okay because Virginia invented the mountains. Ah, you think you got mountains in there, Tommy boy. You need to come on out here to Colorado, see you a real mountain, a 14-er. <laughs> That's what they call them. Where are we going next, babes? Okay, Joseph Potts and Ada Fox requested the old account was settled. And then, now, those last names rhyme, but they're not related, right? So we Potts and Fox. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> The old account was settled. Wow. I wonder if I know this one. Oh, how's it go? Hmm. There was time on it. I think I might know it. Old account was settled long ago. Long ago. Okay, let's try the beginning. There was a time on earth when in the hope of heaven. The old account was settled and my sins were all forgiven. They was written up and many things below. I went to the keeper and settled long ago. Long ago, long ago. Yes, the old account was settled long ago. And the record's clear today for he washed my sins away. And the old account was settled long ago. Let's try another verse. I'm not singing it right, but close enough. Oh, sinner, trust the Lord, and be cleansed of all your sin. For, it is, for thus he hath provided for you to enter in. And then if you should live a hundred years ago, a poor dog 
Some, you might recognize, I should say, some of that, <laughs> because we sort of sang it. I like it, though. Old account was so long ago. Okay, Patricia Wilson requested Supper Time. Ah, yeah, go back in your mind's eye, too. When you were a child and you heard that call to come on in and eat, let's eat, or Supper Time, and then how welcome that was. You were hungry, had to wash your patties and sit down at the table and enjoy a meal. I hope you all had that good experience. Many years ago in days of childhood I used to play till evening shadows come Then winding down Many of you are saying that, that uh, yeah, your mama's home, your, maybe your daddy's home, and, and you're looking forward to eating supper time with them, right? <laughs> it's going to be a feast, they say. The banquet table is going to be loaded with good food, and you don't even have to worry about your calories or weight. Woo, that's going to be great right there. All right, where are we going next, hon? Okay, Cora Plank requested, I need the prayers of those I love. Yes, Cora Plank, this is especially for you and your family and what you're facing right now. I need the prayers of those I love While traveling or life's rugged road That
to hold me up on wings of faith. other don't we there <laughs> you know what don i see you put that up there and i'll probably address it the next uh the next um sing along but that coat of many colors is a beautiful song dolly you're talking about the one that dolly parton wrote i think or maybe she just sang it but i never learned that one but it's a cool message i like it <clears throat> where are we going next huh okay janet twig requested god on the mountain janet twig wanted god on the mountain you missed a couple of these I didn't, I didn't oh, didn't. Gonna go back. oh you're gonna go back i love it Where's my mouth organ? I just had it on. I threw it off. I like to play some mouth organ with this one. Another beautiful truth here. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain and you've got peace of mind. down in the valley, don't lose faith for you're never alone, and the God of the mountain is the God in the valley, when things go wrong, you make them right. Talk of faith when we're up on the mountain, and talk comes easy when life's at its best. But when, but in the valley of trials and temptations, that's when faith. Really put to the test, and the God of the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong, the hill make them rise, and the God of the good times is still God in the bad times. The God of God in the night. Amen. What a beautiful truth. He's there even when we can't see him. Sometimes the clouds cover up the sunshine, but you know the sun's up there. The Son of God is always there for us, interceding for us with groanings, that cannot even be uttered. Wow, wonder what that's all about, what that's like. Hey, you have a great sunset, Ernest. And you're a lot, oh, Eileen said that. Okay. And you're enjoying it, I love it. All right. Okay. This is our last song, unless you have another one. All right, well, I might pull one up, I'm not okay. sure. <laughs> Susan Montrager requested Whispering Hope. Whispering Hope, what time? Oh, well, we're already 
11 minutes over, so we can stop. Hey, Susan, this is for you. Whispering Hole. Titus 2.13 says it this way. While we wait for that blessed hope. Wow. In the key of... Let's try it in the key of C and see if that works out. Yeah, we'll try it. Soft as the voice of an angel Weeping the lesson unheard Oh, with the gentle with one more and it's a favorite of mine i see you in the black book or in the white book there <clears throat> it's a newer one but i uh i just like to affirm and i like for all you to affirm that you see god you see god in nature you see god even during the hard times you see god you know he's there and it's not proudly saying i see you lord i see everything about you no 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 it's just a humble honoring god saying god you're there i see you thank you for being there just love this uh song there you go thank you hon <laughs> God 
of love, God of new vision, every blessing you have given, great is your faithfulness, oh how great is your faithfulness, I see you in the morning light, I feel you in the fire by night, I hear you say, child, I am with you. I hear you say, beloved one, I am with you every moment of my life. I see you, I see you, I see you, oh God, I see you. Heavenly Father, we see you, we adore you, we honor you, we want to see more of you, we want to see and understand more of who, who you are and what you want to do in our lives. We open ourselves up to you tonight, this week, this month, the rest of our lives to for you to show yourself and to show who you are and what you want to do. Father, you are a father of love, you're a father of mercy, you never leave us, you never forsake us. In Jesus' name we pray tonight, Father, for healing for those requests that were on put on tonight, especially think of the family tonight who lost a loved one, a son, a, a young child. Father God, in Jesus' name, we pray that you would just bring comfort to them. You said you are the God of comfort. You comfort us so that we can comfort others. And we pray for the church to surround them right now and to comfort them, to bring comfort in this time of very, very darkness, for very deep darkness for them, sorrow. Father, we also pray for those who are struggling physically, you know what it's all about. You know our different needs. You know uh, where we need our touch from you. And Father, it also, especially for those two who are struggling emotionally, whether it be fear or anxiety or depression, we come against it in the name of Jesus. We know that it is not your will for us to live there. And uh, Father God, we just pray for that, to, for deliverance there. And most of all, Father, the most important thing is we pray for deliverance and for healing spiritually. By your stripes, we are healed. When you died on that cross, it rose again. You did it so that we could experience healing spiritually, so that Satan could be defeated. So in Jesus' name, we bring ourselves to you. We pray that if there's anyone in this room, to, in this living room, long, uh, sing along tonight, who um, who struggles, as spiritual, is struggling spiritually with darkness, we bring them to you. We pray that your light, your healing touch, your Holy Spirit would anoint and would guide. We ask this in Jesus' name. We pray for our nation, our country. We pray against the division, the confusion, that is happening. We pray that there would be a revival and that people will be drawn to you. We ask this according to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all tonight. Thanks for letting us sing along with you and for joining us. And some of you have been praying for Vonda Esch. Yes. And she is home, but she has a long reco recovery ahead of her. So continue to pray for her and her family. Yes. She's home, though. That's a miracle. What a blessing. I love it.